everyone and welcome back to my channel so welcome to my dressing room what the hell how weird is this i have a dressing room transformation video on its way if it isn't already up by the time i post this video i can't believe i'm in my dressing room i'm so so happy with it but anyway that's for a different video so today's video is a get ready with me partnership with Lily England so you guys will know that I've actually reviewed their products before I actually reviewed one of their curlers which is really nice I'll leave that in the eye for you so you can go check that out but today we are reviewing their Lily England rose gold stripers and their 12 piece essential makeup brush set and everything on the website is vegan and cruelty free which is why I love this brand so so much I'm going to show you the little pieces that they kindly sent out to me bless them they're so lovely oh there goes one so they sent me the beautiful rose gold white and marble set and honestly the brushes are so friggin soft i can't wait to test them out in this video they're so soft look at that <laughs> anyway so the straighteners look like this really nice rose gold ones they have like a lock as well which is so easy when you want to tidy them away so i can't wait to use these i don't know whether to straighten my hair or curl it it doesn't really it needs a little bit of straightening so i might straighten it to be fair We'll see how good that is. But I like the branding on the front of it and just it's just so easy to use. I said that I haven't tried it yet, but it feels like it's gonna be easy to use, do you know what I mean? I'll just clip my hair. But anyway, so today's video we're gonna be doing a little bit of a Q and A, a little bit of a catch up together. And yeah, basically a catch up because I haven't actually done a sit down video since before the move. If you guys are new here and you aren't subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? You you should be subscribing because you know why not? <laughs> what is the name of doing? Are you opening blinds really slowly? <laughs> Big creepy. So yeah, I'm going to get ready with you. And I've got a few questions you guys have asked me over on Instagram. So I'm going to start doing my base before I start doing that. So I need to put my hair out of the way. I'm actually going out for birthday drinks with the girls tonight. Cute little cocktail night. So that'll be nice. Absolutely gutted that Katie can't come. I don't think Katie's... Has Katie been... You know, no, Katie's been in my birthday vlog. She can't come tonight, which I'm gutted about. Katie, I miss you so much, but I can't wait for us to go to Birmingham and go out for brunch and shopping. So that's a win at the same time. So I'm going to start doing my base, a little bit of primer first. But yeah, it's going to be a cute little cocktail night tonight. I'm actually vlogging, so I'll leave the link in the eye for that vlog. It's quite a long vlog, but it's a really random one. I just randomly started vlogging because I thought, got an interesting few days to what I bring along with me. Yeah, I'm excited to try out some new makeup brushes, even though I have so many makeup brushes, it's unreal. And um, my other ones really need washing really badly. So, yeah, we're not going to look at them in this video. Yeah, the first question today is, would you ever grow your hair long? Well, good question. So, why is my skin tint? Oh, that is. So, I actually used to have long hair for years, like honestly for years i used to have it like literally down to like just before my bomb so i had really really long hair and then when i met adam i think i actually cut it all off uh to here if you guys are a long time subscribers it was actually really short i loved it but then i look back at photos and i'm like it's so short so short so i'm actually growing it along again and then this is how long it is at the moment but i kind of want to get it up below my breasts so that's how long i want it but then i'll see maybe yeah that might be the perfect length actually below my breath. So I'm going to use some Morphe skin tint. I actually bought this. Yeah, I think we we're in Manchester when I bought this. And funny story, it actually got dropped down my dress. And long story short, my dress is now kind of like got a mark and I can't get it out. But it was only a Primark dress. It's not like it was very expensive. But I can understand why it went everywhere because this stuff is very watery. So I'm going to use one of the brushes from Lily England if I can move everything out of the way. So I'm going to use, is this one a foundation brush? It would be handy if they actually had, you know, what they were called on each thing, because I don't always remember. They've got numbers. It would be good to have, like, a little thing on there that says what it is, but I know that this is a foundation brush. Anyway, if I am looking to the right, it's because there's a mirror next to me, and I can't really see looking through the viewfinder, to be fair. This is a very, very light foundation, actually. Well, it's not even a foundation, it's a skin tint, isn't it? So it's very light, and it's good for this weather, because we're currently going for a heat wave in England, so, yeah, that's fun. I'm just going to blend it all in. <laughs> I'm quite impressed with this skin tint, to be fair. The lovely girl at Morphe's colour matched me very nicely. So now I'm going to stick on some concealer. Oops. And I always use the collection colour, no, not colour lasting, lasting percent. <sighs> Love it, but I can't talk. Lasting Perfection Concealer by uh, Collection. This is my go to concealer always. 
using a little bit of prep and prime prep and prime what prime and infuse instant hydration at priming spray so good in this weather right it's friggin hot the next question is where did, why did why why have I done this to myself what's much next question is Primark or home bargains now that that is a tough one because Primark everyone knows that I'm literally Primark green as Katie says absolutely kidding but I am obsessed with Primark if you guys know I did loads of hauls recently because I just went to loads of different Primarks and I couldn't help myself so why not so I'm on to eye makeup. I've got the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette here. I'm gonna go for like these pink shades here because I'm wearing this dress here tonight. So I kind of want to recreate this look that I did on TikTok. What? I think it's last year now. So yeah, I want to recreate that look, and I think I used this palette. Oh my god, this pink is amazing. Also using the 101 Lily England brush just to get that on my lid. Now going in with the 104 brush. I'm gonna go with this shade here. I used that one a second ago, but I'm going with this one now. I don't actually know what the colours are. Oh, there we go. What is it? Is that the one? They don't look like I look. It says beam. I'm guessing it's beam. I don't know. I don't really go with colours. Now I'm using the brush 108 just to like get a little bit of definition here. Not that I'm any good at this kind of stuff. I haven't makeup in ages, guys. I've only done like concealer, mascara, and eyebrows most days for the last like year. So my makeup skills aren't as good as they used to be because I'm not used to doing this anymore. Now I'm using 103 just on the lid from the inner corner to the middle. I'm kind of like making stuff as I go along. I really should watch my makeup tutorials because I can't remember how to do freaking makeup. I'm going back in with 101 and I'm just going to try and blend what I've already done. I don't know if there's actually any blending brushes in here. I don't think there is. Is that class with a blending brush? 102? Give that a go. So I've got a little bit of concealer on. I'm going to clean it up with a brush 106. And like, I'm going to give this a go. I don't normally use brushes. But I want to see how good these brushes are. If they actually help. So next we're going to move on to my favourite makeup palette. Which is the Sleek Contour Palette. So I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer. And I'm going to use the brush 003. See so you how this gets on. Oh, it picks up like the right amount of bronzer which is nice like it's nice and light lovely brush it's so soft this seems to be a brush that i can use for blusher so i'm just going to use one of my own ones but highlighter sorry not blusher i'm just going to put a little bit of blusher on the brow bone because i literally love having a highlighted brow bone and cheekbone it just makes it pop now for blusher now this one's kind of more of a powder brush but i'm going to give it a go for blusher it's a 002 I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on my brush. Yeah, that's fine. It's so soft. I love how soft this brush is. It's like a dream. It's like gliding on my face. Like, you know how you get brushes that are quite sharp at times? This one's not quite. Very, very soft. And it's applying the product very nicely, I think. Skin is glowing. Time for eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills shade medium brown in the Dip Brow Pomade. But before we do that, best get another primer. That's because I was just reading a question. Best get another question or favourite place to shop? I think I really know the answer. Of course you do, you know it's Primark. We all know this because I'm obsessed with it. A first time buyer experience. So, mm, I think it was alright to be fair. Like, considering how I never ever bought a house before, of course, because first time buyer, it's actually been quite a good process. The only thing I would say is solicitors, they're very slow, I'll give you that. But you know what? We moved in quicker than what most people do. We got in in literally two months and some people take like 10 months on. So, so grateful for the fact that we could move in so quickly. But yeah, first time buying experience, it's pretty good, but I can't, the only thing I can say is just solicitors are very, very slow. That's the only thing. Other than that, I definitely recommend doing it yourself. Like get a house and like be in your own, like I was going to say being your own boss then, but it's not like having that responsibility of having your own place is it's amazing. Like, you have that freedom, you don't have people like, you don't hear people arguing, you don't hear like dogs barking, you don't, you, do you know what I mean? Like, you, you're into your own rules, it's like, it's just great. I would highly recommend buying your own house. I wouldn't rent, personally, not for me. I just feel like that money that you're putting on rent, you could just pay on a mortgage, so it's just so much easier. Would you rather have fingers as toes or toes as fingers? Definitely fingers as, to fingers as toes. That's a very weird question, but you are the weird boy, can't you hear? <laughs> so IBS and thyroid update, someone has asked. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'll leave it here for you if you don't. It's Isabel Celine over on Instagram. So I've recently opened up about the fact that I have IBS and 
hypothyroidism. So I've actually had it for quite a few years now and like never really opened up about it because I'm very, very private um, when it comes to like my health and things like that. And like, you know, you know what I mean? Sometimes some things you don't share, but I was like, you know what? I feel like this needs to be shared because some people don't even know what it is. There's a lot of people that have it and they don't realize how common it is. And it's good to like share it on a platform like what I have. So I'd rather share it and let other people know about it and like raise awareness and like how I've got on with it. Also, this is the, I forgot to say, this is the um, eyebrow brush. I forgot what it's called. In 105. It's actually rather light, to be honest. Like, you know, when you like quite a thin eyebrow brush, like, I'm trying my best to use it because I know when they're new, it's quite hard to use them. So I'm going to have to redo this. I must come back to you once to do my eyebrows. Okay, eyebrows are done. So back to the question. So IBS and thyroid update. So basically, I've had I've had hypothyroidism for the last like three years, but I think I've had it way before that. So basically, hypothyroidism is basically um your hormone gland, which is like a butterfly in your throat. If not, if you don't know what it is, Google it if you don't know what it is. Because I'm so rubbish at explaining things, but some days I get so tired that I literally don't want to move. It's just so hard to describe because there's so many different things that like the things that I've experienced is hair loss. Not extremely, but when I brush my hair, a lot of it falls out. Um, like if I do this now, this completely defeats the other if nothing falls out, yeah. Hey, I need a mask. No, no, my hair is falling out. <laughs> I need a mask, which will make my face feel... Mm. Face mask? Yeah, which will make my face feel smooth. But yeah, a lot of the time I have hair loss, and not when I was younger, when I was at school. Right. I don't know, about 14, 15, and I wore like my school jumper, and it was my brother's, I'm not gonna lie, you know, how many lines and all that, same money. It was my brother's old jumper, it was quite big on me, and I remember tucking it into my skirt, and like, I had like fucking massive armpit bits, but I always remember my hair got stuck to it because it was static, instead of it falling out onto the floor when it came out, it stuck to my armpit, which was so annoying, so I always remember when I was at school, I was like, oh my god, I'm so proud of like my hair falling out and getting stuck to my armpit, so. That's a funny story. But yeah, my hair is always like falling out. Not like massively, but like it is part of your thyroid condition. So, but a lot of people gain weight with theirs and I haven't because I've got a really fast metabolism. So I've always been like, well, the doctors have said underweight, but I'm not, I don't think, because I struggle so much to gain weight, you wouldn't believe it. And you know what annoys me the most when people say to me, you need to eat more. Mate, do you not see how much I eat in a day? Honestly. I eat so much, it's ridiculous. That's something that annoys me when people say, oh, you should gain weight. On. Do you know how hard it is to do that? Yeah, I'm happy the way this one am, thank you very much. Even if I do have a thyroid condition. But yeah, so if you want to know more about it, um, I can do a full video on my thyroid kind of journey. And I have a friend called Casey, she has the same condition, but she's completely different to me, like within our body type. So I'd love to do a video with, um, with her. We're actually discussing it and we're actually very tempted to do a podcast on it. What do you think of that? Um, let me know in the comments if you'd be happy with that. A video from me and Katie talking about full on thyroids and IBS and all that. So, yeah, that could be for another video if you guys would be interested in that. Interested in that even. Because I have thought about doing it because I want to open up more about it and like raise more awareness about hypothyroidism and IBS because it should be spoken about more. It's a very taboo sub subject with IBS, but you know, IBS comes with body positivity at the same time because. I guess makes you feel so bloated and shit about your body sometimes. Like sometimes I wake up and like my stomach will be flat, sometimes it'll be bro, it's a fuck. Yeah, there's like no in between, so it is quite annoying. And it does like affect you mentally. But yeah, I would like to do a video on that at another time. But for now, my makeup is done, but my eyelashes keep sticking together, which is rather annoying. Sometimes it does this in the heat. It's not even that hot today either. It's quite annoying. Oh I'll have to do I'll just do it with this. That's better. What? I have a look in the drawers, or do you want me to pick you one? Do you want a quick one or one that you just sit around in? No, there's a 60 second mask in there. Nah, too quick. I want a beverage, you know? Yeah, please. I'll have the rest of my cider, if you don't mind. So, makeup is all done. Time to straighten my hair. I have to say, these brushes, they're rather lovely, to be fair. They're so soft. I'm happy to add them to my collection. Thank you very much to England for sending them out. Now, we're gonna test out these straighteners. I think I'm gonna actually straighten my hair rather than curl it. I can't be asked, I can't be bothered to curl my hair tonight. Plus, I'm actually running quite tight on time because I need to be gone in like half an hour. And my hair takes me quite a while, so let's straighten. Okay, so I've just turned the straighteners on and it has like this little bit here where there's numbers. And I don't know whether you can see them or not. I don't think you can. Can you see that just about? 
but the numbers are changing really really quickly so it shows the temperature going up. I've never seen anything do that before. I really like that actually. It's very snazzy. It doesn't beat though. Oh, I was hoping it was going to beat. We'll put it on 200. There we go. Should we see? I don't think you can see. No. <laughs> we'll just give up on that bit. Yeah, let's see what this is like. I have already got heat protectant on my hair. These don't open very wide, I must say. But they don't need to open really wide, I suppose. Let's see if we can do a flick. Oh, yeah. Oh, this makes me curl it now. Should I just curl it? Yeah, we'll curl it because I like to do that. Let's give it a curl then. We'll test the straighteners by curling. Because I do like straight uh, curling my hair with straighteners, to be fair. I find it so much easier to curl my hair with straighteners than what I do with the curler, especially with like the length of my hair. Yeah, this will be interesting to see how it turns out. You seem quite good. Like, I never really use like it twice. Oh, sometimes I'm so shit at doing this. They seem quite good so far. Give that baby curl. I feel like I want it straight. I don't know, I'm saying this little ice here. Curl it little straight. You know, I'll curl it and then I'll have like a nice little wave to it. We'll do that. So I won't make it too curly. It can have a wave in it. That'll do. That'll do quite nicely. Because I've started it now anyway. Just a tiny little kind of wave that will put in it hopefully. If not, then I'm going to go around it again and just straighten it, <laughs> if it goes wrong. So I'll come back to you when I'm fully done. So hair is all done, I'm just going to brush it out, see what it looks like. This is what I kind of wanted to go for, just like very, very light waves rather than like curls. Sometimes this kind of sits better and lasts longer. Kind of like a beachy wave kind of look, quite like it. So I can say that them straighteners are actually really nice. Ooh, this is nice. I know it's kind of a fringe though. Ooh, it's kind of like a bit of a bouncy fringe. I just decided to give it a little bit of a curl. And it sits quite nicely. It's kind of in my eye though. <laughs> so that's quite annoying. Yeah, that's all done. Let's get my outfit on and then Cheers guys. I really like these ciders at the moment. They're very nice, the Brother Ciders. I get them from Home Bargains. They're new, I don't know if it's new range actually. They're like sweet kind of range. Toffee apple, strawberries and cream, marshmallow flavour and this one, rhubarb and custard. They're really nice. Definitely recommend trying these out. So I'm all ready in my cute little Primark dress. And I'm really happy with this look, to be honest. I haven't got ready like this in so freaking long. So I feel so happy that we can finally go out and see people. So I can't wait to go see the girls. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Lily England for sending out these lovely products. They are really nice. Definitely recommend. The only thing I would change is put a beeper on this. Because that would be really handy to know when it's like on and off. And they might make it a tiny bit wider. They're okay, like, they're fine, like, you can easily, like, as I showed you, easily um, curl your hair, because I'm so used to, like, being a wider, um, like, like, about that, just that tiny bit more, that's what I'm used to, because I'm over straighteners, but yeah, I definitely recommend these products, they're very, very nice, always recommend Lily England, because they're vegan and cruelty free, and they are just lovely, a lovely brand, and really good stuff that they sell as well, all hair care, makeup and things, this hair is annoying. I'm going to hop with this tonight, <laughs> fringe on my face. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please do stick around and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And give this video a like, of course, if you liked it. And I shall see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye, guys.